We got one of the biggest anime movies to be releasing in theaters, that's right, in theaters. Sword Art Online Progressive, schedule of Deep Night, but is it any good? We'll talk. Hi, how are you doing today? It's Just Jess here. Hope you're having a good day. And today, yeah, so we got one of the anime biggest movies to be releasing in theaters. That's right, in theaters. Sword Art Online Progressive Schedule of Deep Night is an anime from the long-running franchise of Sword Art Online. I went to go see this in English dub. However, you can still watch it in Japanese dub with English subtitles. I know a lot of people in the anime are just basically movies in general. I don't mind subtitles, but if there's an English dub, I would prefer it. And the English voice acting still reprising their roles on here is still great. I know a lot of people prefer Japanese. They think it's better, but it's not that bad compared to other anime or compared to other English voice acting. And I still understood it and I had a great time with this. So this movie acts like a sequel to prequel for Sword Art Online series. Now, if you guys don't know, Sword Art Online is a VR MMO RPG anime that people are stuck in there and there's more to it. But basically the gist of it is there's they're stuck in this VR MMO video game. And if they die in it, if they die in the game, they die in real life. So it is a nice twist. When I first started watching this I just started watching this two months ago and of course you can see some of the posters in the background I have Kirito and Asuna plus this also is a sequel from 2021's release Sword Art Online Progressive Staria of Arc Knight so this is a different sequel slash prequel but let me be the first to tell you you don't have to watch all the seasons and all the movies to get caught up you literally have to watch like the first 15 episodes because then after that if you've seen the show you know that it goes to Alfheim and this movie even though it has hints to it or what this bad guy could be or who's the bad guy I feel like ultimately you can just watch the 15 episodes because I didn't I literally just w started watching religiously consistently anime on Crunchyroll just had a subscription a little bit of setup before we review this I saw a movie two months ago in December called quintessential quintuplets movie and I went I went into that movie blind I was like this hopefully has romance and yes it does have romance I love romance why do I love romance I used to be going to school for romance I initially quit because I wanted to focus YouTube this was my true passion my calling so that is why I do love romance a lot and then I subscribed to Crunchyroll watched the first two seasons of quintessential quintuplets i'm like dude anime like i watched it before with naruto with Yu-Gi-Oh, but that's like on and off you know but now it's like i love anime and i've been watching this ever since because i am a movie review channel here on youtube so i look at upcoming movies and i saw this and i was like ooh, an anime movie and so i started watching season one season two i'm currently on season three with five episodes and i saw the first movie order no scale and i loved order no scale i was like dude this is awesome i did not watch the prequel to this even though online it says only two months months have gone by for this movie only two months have gone by from the deadly game of Kaiba so if you don't know they're stuck in the VR MMO RPG and if they die in the game they die in real world but it's only two months and the premise of this movie is it's also giving us like a little backstory of Asuna size which is the beautiful girl which I'll put on screen right now but they have to defeat a level five boss now think about it level five boss two months to have gone by so this is still in their early stages kind of middle stages so that's why I was like dude I didn't want to like blow through the whole four seasons other movies because I started falling in love with this I'm like I wanted to take my time I didn't want to just watch all day every day and just like no I'm not like that so with that backstory I just want you to know where I'm coming from but I am a fan however I'm still going to review this movie critically kind of but as a fan I just want you to know the backstory before we get into this movie so two months have gone by in the deadly game of sword art online Kirito and Asuna must help to defeat a level five boss along with the assaulting and with the two kills confronting each other who's going to take the ultimate prize to defeating the boss and how they're going to go to navigate that with that being said animation looks great on the big screen and it's no different with this movie with sword art online however even though i am a fan i'm gonna be very honest with you it looks great and it sounds great and i'm happy that we're getting this movie however let's just be honest let's just be honest as much as i love this sword art online's animation on the big screen it's great it's not awesome compared to other anime and i don't want to shadow drop any other anime movies because i've seen other ones but it, it's not like oh my gosh it's not like the best of best but it's still great i just want you to know that going into it like it, it's not it's it's not amazing amazing which i it, it sucks but i am a fan i mean i'm gonna be honest with you i mean this is a movie review channel but still like after the everything that's going on i was like eh. however this movie feels like more of asana's story we see her as the story unfolds with her eyes and we also gives a us backstory and deeper meanings and different conversation plus expanding on her character development through the first season with her and Kirito and the way she's going to navigate this world of sword on online with Kirito so this is before Kirito became black swordsman as well 
as Asuna becoming lightning. So it's before that. I mean, think about it. We're only in the level five boss. If you watch the first season, sometimes they talk about level 29 boss, level 39 boss, level 50 boss, level 60 boss. So this is still in the beginning stages. By the way, this anime, this movie in particular has everything. Drama, action, romance, friendship, partnership, and also character development, which this movie really centers on. However, the middle part of the movie can be a little slow for most people. But then again, it's the character development. Remember, this is the beginning stages of Sword Art Online. This isn't like the next big bad thing. This is all, not all their skills to the max level. This is in the beginning stages. So that's why I'm saying it acts like a sequel slash prequel. But it doesn't hint to anything in season three unless they do give some hints and tips of what the bad guy could be, what his motivations are, and also ties up some loose ends. Especially because when we watched the first season, we're like, Ooh, who's that bad guy? But now we know because the movie gives it to us. But it's also this navigating of her character with her best friend and Kirito and also expands on her, what she's afraid of, what their friendship, because their friendship, their relationship in this movie, it not just tells us, but also shows us what it's going to be. So they're not, in the movie that I saw, of course, this one, it's they're not just friends and they're not a relationship. They're in a partnership, but they don't even know how to navigate that. They're still in the early stages of like, we kind of like each other, but at the same time, we don't know how to go to the next level. Like we need more time. And I love that. I love that this weird, awkward moment. They're not friends. They're not boyfriend or girlfriend yet. They're still like, oh, we like each other. You like me. I like you. I'll protect you. And it's really cool because the movie fleshes out the backstory that we couldn't see in the Crunchyroll series because it's just like, oh, episode one, episode two, episode three. Now they like each other. Now they do this. So it's really cool because it's like a real relationship. Like, uh, we like each other or I'm taking a girl out and we're on like the third day. Like we're touching each other. We're being all cute. You know, there's feelings there, especially in this movie. You know, there's feelings there, but it takes its time with the two character leads. But Asuna has a way more like, I don't want to say critical backstory because it's so cool to see the world and Kirito from her eyes. She gets the most character development here. And I'm really happy to see that because it's like, wow, like these people literally went from like episode one and it's like sandwiched in between that, but it just gives us more breathing room to flesh out like what they're thinking and their development. Now, the final boss, of course, yeah, it's action, it's hype, it's amazing, but it's not as amazing. I'm sorry to be honest, but as those other shows in the series that showed us or the first movie, Order No Scale. Remember, this is level five. So the action, their abilities, they're not even there yet. They're not at their most prime yet. This is just like a stepping stone to get where they are now. If you don't like Sword Art Online, I don't think this will win you over because this is more of the same, but just more fleshed out with character developments and backstory expanded on to give us the mythos of what they're doing in Sword Art Online. But however, if this is your first time checking out this movie and you're going into this blind, like I did so many times, this is great because you still have a lot to catch up on. Like for me, like I'm still watching season three and I'm really glad they made this movie. But as overall, I still preferred Order No Scale to this. I can't wait to see where the series goes next. I still have to finish the two seasons, the other movie and rumored they're doing a final arc, more progressive movies and a final movie to tie it all together. I'm going to give this movie a solid B. It has everything, action, drama, romance, slash friendship, and also character development, expanding on what they were doing in Sword Art Online. But at the end of the day, I, yeah, it's just a B. I liked it, but it wasn't going to be like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, because a little bit of backwards but it's also still great that we get more expanded on. If you made it this far, I appreciate you so much. Maybe consider hitting that like button and turning on notifications so you never miss a video. With that, take care, bye.